Hey, check this out. It's called the PackSafe Intisafe Z400. It's an anti-theft shoulder bag. And let's take a first look. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the company PackSafe, they design bags with a traveler in mind. Um, and so obviously if you're a traveler, you're typically in unfamiliar places and you might be distracted, say, by the sites that you're looking at. And as a result, if you're not paying attention to the bag that's around your shoulder or on your back, there's a good chance that somebody might lift your wallet out of your bag. So these PackSafe bags have security built in. Now, it's not the kind of security that is infallible. It's really just to deter. So you're gonna prevent things like pickpockets and slash bandits from taking your stuff. Frankly, if the bag was totally impervious, then it would probably mean it would be too heavy and it would be hard for you to access and it would be super bulky. Overall, the design of this bag is what I call a soft-sided briefcase. And it differs from something like this. This is your typical um, messenger bag. It's, actually, it's not your typical messenger bag. This is a smaller one. It's made by Timbuktu. There are a couple of things with a soft-sided briefcase that distinguish it from these messenger bags. And most notably, it's how you access the bag. With regard to these messenger bags, you always have a flap that you have to open up in order to get access to it. It does offer some weatherproofing, um, but it can be a headache for you to have to hold the, the flap out of the way if it's on you and dig in for all your stuff. That's different from a soft-sided briefcase in that you typically have access through a single zipper in the main compartment where you can get access to all your stuff. The other piece here, as you can see, is that a soft-sided briefcase typically has handles that are legitimate handles. They're centered, they're something that you can really hold on to, and you wouldn't mind carrying it by these handles for a long period of time. In some cases, like in the case of this Timbuktu, there's not even a handle in the center. So you really can't hold this thing except if you use a shoulder bag, the shoulder strap itself. Sometimes they have little loops of webbing that are sort of an afterthought. They're not something that you really want to have to use for a long period of time. The other piece you'll notice here is that a soft-sided briefcase is much more rectangular in shape, whereas a shoulder bag like this, the, the messenger bag, is gonna be more trapezoidal in shape. It just looks a lot more professional to be using something like a soft-sided briefcase as opposed to a messenger bag, which really is built for people who are delivering stuff uh, via bicycle. Lastly, and very importantly, I actually think that the soft-sided briefcases are a lot easier to use as a business bag because you can get into your the bag easier and you can put stuff away much more easily without having to deal with the flap because they actually hold their shape a little bit better. They they are easier to pull things out of and see what's inside of your bag. So in terms of crossover ability, these things really make it, whereas these things really are a little bit too casual in terms of their ability to hold stuff as well as the look themselves. So this bag by PackSafe is in the, uh, it's an 18 liter bag and I have it here in their charcoal gray color. They do have it also in black. And let's take a look around and see what the bag has to offer. So let's start actually with this shoulder strap. And the shoulder strap is adjustable in size and it does have a padded area here which can slide um, according to how short you've made the strap. The shoulder strap itself does have within it some stainless steel wiring which makes it hard for somebody who's a slash bandit to come up, take their knife and cut through it and then run away with your bag. The shoulder strap itself does actually, let me just take my keys off here, it does actually remove but only from one side. So notice here that it's affixed here, it's sewn in over here, and it does disconnect from this side right here. It has a special locking clip. What this allows you to do is to wrap this around the leg of the table where you're having a coffee or whatever, reconnect it so that somebody who's just running by can't just grab your bag and take off before you even know it. So it has a little locking mechanism here that allows you to be able to relock it and hold it in place like so. On the back of the bag here, you can see that there's a zippered pocket that appears to simply just be a zippered pocket. But in fact, and I keep my phone in here, but it does have a bottom that unzips as well, so this can serve as 
a, a, a place where you stick the handle of your luggage. So this slides over the handle of your luggage and allows you to have this not on your shoulder when you're cruising through the airport. Again, I think it's super handy to use as a regular pocket. It goes all the way across the entire width of the bag, but it does not go up above the zipper. So think of it, the area in right within here. You can see here on the sides here, you're gonna have a couple water bottle pockets. There's a stretchy membrane right here, or stretchy fabric. And it's also further held with these Fastex buckles. I'm not quite sure I understand what's going on here. Um, I guess if you can unsnap it and maybe clip something to I'm really not sure what this is all about. It seems over-engineered, but um, it's there available to you. And then you have the same thing on the other side of the bag right here, another water bottle pocket. The bottom of the bag is totally flat, so this thing can stand on its own, which, as you all know, is essential in my book for any bag. On the very front here, we have a zippered pocket, and in here I have all my dongles and cables, quick access to it. And notice that this is an interesting little anti-theft design too, that you can slide the, uh, the zipper pull between these two zones right here. So a casual thief won't be able to unzip this without you probably knowing that it's happening. So it's not super high security, but it's certainly probably enough to deter somebody who wants to get in there and take something really quickly. Okay, so notice here that these um, the two shoulder straps are held together with a little strip of fabric here. And otherwise they just sort of hang down like so. So if you wanna keep it neat, then you do clip it together. I actually don't really care too much about that. So I just leave this thing clipped together like so, grab the two handles and run this way. Let's take a look into the main compartment. Uh, but before I do, let me talk to you a little bit about this zipper. Interestingly, these are not YKK zippers, which are sort of the industry standard, but they seem to be pretty stout. So, um, you know, who's, who knows? It'll take some time for me to determine whether or not these are equivalent to YKKs, but they certainly feel like they're beefy enough. These two zipper pulls slide together magnetically, if I can get it just right, and actually offer some level of theft deterrence right here, because if you pull both of them at the same time, obviously you're not getting access to the bag. Not to mention the fact that if I just shift this over like this, if you bring this zipper all the way over to this side, to the same locking mechanism that held the shoulder strap, and you unlock this, slide it down, you can put the zipper pulls into this bar, slide this back together like so, lock it back, and now it's near impossible for a thief to be able to access anything inside the main compartment of your bag. You go ahead and undo that. And let's take a look in the interior of the bag. Slide this out of the way. Interestingly, the zippers go all the way down, all the way to the bottom inside these water bottle pockets. It allows you to open up the bag a little bit wider, I suppose, but it does make it a little hard for you to get in here and unzip the bag. But this isn't a review, this is a first look. You can see here there's room for, this is a 13 inch laptop, but there's room certainly for a 15 inch laptop. It's a padded sleeve and it doesn't lift off the bottom of the bag. So if you put down the bag too strongly or too, if you drop it, you might actually damage your laptop. So just be careful about that. It's padded, but it's not ultra padded there. Just in front of this pocket, there is room for a 10 inch tablet. Unfortunately, my uh, tablet is 12.9 inches, so instead I just put my receipts bag into here. I did have to hang my pen that I use here off of this tablet pocket, which is kind of a bummer, and you'll see why that's the case in just a moment. And then I have my file folders and papers, no separate pocket, no sleeve or anything like that for this, so it just sits there in the middle, which isn't too bad in a soft-sided briefcase. Um, you know, most of the time it's going to keep your papers nice and flat and uncrumpled because of the design of the bag itself. But it would have been nice to have had a pocket for that. You can see over here, folks, that I have a spot for my sunglasses. Um, there is a mesh pocket, zippered mesh pocket here. I don't have anything in there. There is a spot here for your cell phone, but as I said, it, it's better for me to have my cell phone in a more accessible spot, which is why I put it back into this pocket back here. 
And in front of that space, you can see there's room for four credit cards. Although I will tell you that the way this is cut, the way they sewed this up, this is too narrow for a credit card. So it's really two credit cards and then who knows what you would put in these two tiny things. I think it was supposed to actually be split right down the middle. So this might be a manufacturing defect here. And then there's a single slot here for a pen pencil. And I have it here for my Apple pencil. And then another pocket here, it's in a pocket with RFID to prevent people from getting access to your credit card numbers. And then right in front of that, you can see there's another zippered mesh pocket. Behind this whole section, you have a large pocket. And here's where I keep my gum, my Dramamine, meds, etc., band-aids. And I also keep my wireless earbuds in there. And I also, there's a spot here to clip your keys. So I have my keys clipped into that zone as well. Okay. So that is the extent of the bag. The materials that it's made out of, it feels like a pretty tough nylon sort of, it might be a polyester blend nylon. It certainly feels tough. And you should know that PackSafe has in some areas, I think it's on the bottom of the bag, on the front, they have these, um, these panels where there's essentially Think of it as being like stainless steel chicken wire. So if somebody tries to take a knife to your bag to get access to it, it's gonna hit the stainless steel and not be able to cut through the fabric very easily. The fabric itself seems pretty tough, although I will tell you that this is brand new and it already shows some strange signs of wear, as you can see right there in the sort of the corner points and such right there as well. Um, who knows, it might be one of those things where you could take one of those, um, you know, like a heat gun or just a, a hair dryer, and you might be able to get rid of that. That might just be scuffing marks. I don't think it looks terrible. It has sort of, it gives sort of a look of wax cotton to have that. And in fact, the whole thing feels like that same density as a waxed canvas. It doesn't have the waxy feel, but it has that same sort of density in the hand. All right, so there you go. That's. Um, first look for this bag and in a couple weeks I'll be doing a full review of it so come on back to the channel and take a look at that in the meantime don't forget to subscribe or take a look at some of my other reviews for bags that uh, not only are the soft-sided messenger bags but also I more often I look at crossover day packs which is my name for everyday carries all right till next time take it easy